Hello and welcome to another Lesson Picks instructional video. Today we're going to look at a newly added feature, the Play Tools sidebar. But first, a bit of background. As many of you know, last school year we rapidly added support for remote therapy and teaching by leveraging Microsoft PowerPoint. This was a great solution because it took a powerful authoring tool that worked well over Zoom and added direct access to all of our symbols. Later, we added a play tab to the office add-in that allowed you to create spinners, dice, timers, and to draw symbols from a hat. This added interactivity to your remote sessions and was a huge hit with our customers. In fact, it was such a big hit that it was clear we needed to provide the play tab functionality for everyone, no matter what software they were using. Introducing the Lesson Picks Play Tools sidebar. You can launch the play tools from the Your Lesson Picks page by clicking the button just above your tray. The sidebar will open as a new thin window on the right side of your screen. Here, you can create powerful tools like spinners and dice to help you use your Lesson Picks materials interactively. Let's see how this works in practice. Here we have material from the Sharing Center. It's a bingo game by Keely Benning that focuses on the schwa sound, the unstressed er. Instead of downloading the PDF, we'll download the PowerPoint fixed with tokens format and then upload it to our Google Drive and open it in Google Slides. Here's what it looks like after removing unwanted tokens and getting it ready to play. Now we want to draw cards from a hat to play the game. We return to the materials page in Lesson Picks so we can get the matching symbols. Clear the tray and then click load all to fill the tray with pictures of the er words. With our tray loaded, we need to launch the sidebar. Click your Lesson Picks and then click the play tools button. We want to draw cards and we want the hat seen. Clicking Create Game shows our hat ready to draw. The only thing left to do is to resize both the sidebar and our Google Slides window so that they both fit on the screen at the same time. Now we can click Draw or just click the hat and each picture will be drawn randomly. You can see what has already been drawn down at the bottom of the screen. We can change our options by clicking Show Controls. Here, we change the scene to a bear, thinking about different er words. Drawing cards is fantastic for bingo and similar games, but what about traditional board games? Here's another material from the Sharing Center, Dinosaur Roar by Beth Poss. We've already downloaded the PowerPoint file and have it all set up in Google Slides with the player tokens at the bottom. Now we just need to add a spinner or dice. We clear our tray if needed, and then click Load All to put the dinosaur pictures in our tray. Back on the Your Lesson Picks page, we click Play Tools and get our sidebar. Let's start with a spinner with each of the pictures on it. Our players can move their pieces to the first matching square. Alternatively, we could choose numbers on our spinner. Perhaps they could move 1 to 10 spaces per spin. The Play Tools includes a dice option that can create 1 to 5 dice with either tray symbols, numbers, or dots depending on what your students need. Finally, we've created timers that can count down from a starting value, up to an end time, or simply count up until they are stopped. To cover every situation, we've even added this to the Lesson Picks mobile site, so it will work perfectly from your smartphone. Here's what the Lesson Picks mobile looks like on an iPhone. After logging in, click the menu icon on the upper right and click Play Tools. The exact same interface appears, this time taking the entire screen. Now you can have spinners, dice, timers, and card drawing wherever you go, and even support your in-person clients who are working on printed materials. We hope this tool makes your remote therapy and teaching just a little bit simpler and more fun. If you have questions, click the help link at the top of the screen or join us on the LessonPix users Facebook group. And as always, good luck and have fun.